The most simple way to understand how a nerve conduction is performed is to watch one. I have a volunteer and I'm going to test her median sensory nerve into her index finger. The median nerve runs directly down the center of the forearm through the carpal tunnel and the sensory branches then extend to the thumb, index, middle and half of the ring finger. As you can see, I have two electrodes on her index finger. These are recording electrodes. They're simply clip electrodes that clip on directly like this with a small amount of electrode paste underneath. There is a third electrode acting as an earth in the palm of her hand. If I measure a set distance from the electrodes and make a mark on her wrist, I can then stimulate the nerve directly at the wrist and propagate a sensory nerve action potential. As I gently increase the signal intensity, you can see this action potential propagate on my screen and eventually it gets to a point where it doesn't get any larger despite the fact that I increase my signal intensity. If I average this signal out, you can see how clear and apparent the signal becomes. Now there are two main features which I'm interested in in this waveform. One which is marked by the letter P, which stands for peak. This is the peak of the electrical signal as it travelled from the wrist to the electrode on the finger. You will see the number 3.7 next to it. This tells me that the signal took 3.7 milliseconds to travel from the wrist to the finger. There is a second number here in brackets, 52.65. This is the size of the signal. It is measured from the onset of the waveform to the peak. This tells me how large the signal is. These are the two most important characteristics of a sensory nerve, the size of the sensory signal and also the time it took to get the signal from the stimulus point at the wrist into the finger. This tells us the speed of the conduction of the nerve.